The CARES program is a program through the Pinellas Park Fire Department that uh, exists to prevent emergencies to help people who have called 911 in the past to give them tangible items or connect them with local resources to prevent future 911 calls. So the CARES program is currently focused on fall prevention. That is our main goal is to prevent falls and to visit people who are at risk of falling. Falls are one of the top calls in the county for EMS help. So that's why that's one of our main goals right now. And we were doing some, um, some data research and we were looking at some of the calls that we were going on and um, what were some of these trends that were taking place back in 2019 uh, before COVID really hit. And uh, what we noticed was that there was a lot of calls that we were going to to the same addresses. So as we started looking at those reoccurring addresses and those patients and then peering into some of the medical issues that were going on, we started to think, how are some creative ways that we could come up with as a department to give people tangible resources to assist for those reoccurring falls? That way they're not using the 911 system um, and they're using the other resources available to them in the community. Things like uh, installing rubber ramps in front of people's homes so that they can then use their front door with their wheelchair to get outside. We've also been able to install toilet safety rails to help people be safer in their bathroom and connect uh, individuals to local resources. One of the individuals that I was able to help recently through the CARES program is a um, Pinellas Park local and when I met him, he told me that he was having trouble getting out his front door because it was raised up by two inches. So one of the things that the CARES program was able to do for him was to get a rubber ramp so that now he could just go in his front door forwards. And I know that that made a big impact on his everyday mobility and that it was something good that we could do for him. I had to call 911 a couple times and, and then Aaron came by. We discussed several things and the ramps were one of the items that we covered because the problem of getting in and out of the, the front door. Once that ramp came in, I had no problem. I don't have to worry about trying to get up the steps. Now I can go in either way. So I don't have a problem. So Aaron's been a big help. Erin Giblin's our CARES coordinator, and she's been very busy uh, getting this program started. She's reached out to about 100 residents. She's gotten to about 30 uh, CARES visits and uh, home assessments. Those individuals that we've gotten with, so those out of the 30-ish people that we've contacted with, they've produced 108 falls. Um, and we have not had one of those individuals call 911 again since we've reached out to them. We're being a good neighbor, we're being good community members, um, and we're just helping individuals that live here um, just live fruitfully and, and have a successful life. I previously was working as a firefighter paramedic running 911 calls and we'd see a lot of problems that uh, we weren't really able to fix due to time constraints. So now for the CARES program, I'm able to slow down, take time, and find things that we can fix uh, to better improve people's lives every day.